top worst mistakes at Disneyland. For some people, going to Disneyland is a once-in-a-lifetime experience and an investment. You must make the most of the chance and develop lifelong memories. Planning can help, especially if it's your first time visiting Disneyland. There are a few things to keep in mind to avoid making any rookie Disneyland blunders, though you don't have to plan out every last detail. Dieting during your Disneyland vacation. You might want to take a few days off from any rigorous diets you're following to fully enjoy your Disney vacation. Even though Disneyland has a variety of fruit carts and salads at the Jolly Holiday Bakery, you simply can't fully appreciate the park without indulging in a corn dog or crisps, sweet smelling churro. Preparing too much for your Disneyland trip. When it rains, the fireworks display is cancelled, your favorite ride breaks down, and you require a headache, sometimes your day won't go as planned. Fortunately, unexpected events frequently turn out to be the most memorable. Many musical acts are worth stopping to listen to, but you shouldn't schedule your day around them. Feel free to stray from your schedule if you want something you'd rather do, and don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. Figuratively and occasionally physically if you're visiting in the spring. Additionally, if you attempt to cram too much in, you risk simply exhausting yourself. So unwind, have a Mickey ice cream bar while sitting on a park seat, and resolve to have fun regardless of the unexpected turns. Preparing too little for your Disneyland vacation. Even though everyone has a distinct way of organizing their time, knowing your priorities in advance might be useful. Which rights are you most anticipating? Which characters would you wish to meet? Do you intend to enjoy the park's nighttime entertainment such as fireworks? You risk missing out on events that would enhance your vacation if you don't create a rough itinerary or plan. A bag with the necessities for your day such as sunscreen, hand sanitizer, food, band-aids for any potential blisters, or a jacket should also be brought. Forgetting to research and download the best Disneyland app. You can maximize the value of your Disney day with the use of mobile apps. The Disneyland mobile app organizes your photo pass photos and dining reservations, displays wait times and ride closures, daily schedules that include when and where characters and entertainment will be, and maps. Everything is constantly updated, and there are no costs involved. It is advised to download the Disney Parks Play app, which provides entertaining activities and trivia to pass the time while you wait. Feeling helpless because of crowds and long lines at Disneyland. Whether the lineups were lengthy or short seems to be one of the main characteristics guests used to suggest whether they had a pleasant experience or not on their vacation. Naturally, try to stay away from crowds and lines. Labor Day through Thanksgiving usually sees the fewest visitors, except weekends. Late January through early February and late April, while avoiding Easter. Single rider lines are available for many of the more well-known rides, including the Matterhorn and Radiator Springs Racers, making it easier for you to board the ride fast. Not drinking enough water and paying for drinks at Disneyland. It's easy to forget to drink enough when you're busy having fun, so make sure you're mindful about water throughout the day. There are various carts and shops around the park that sell water bottles at just under $3. To save money, use the drinking fountain placed throughout the park and inside some line queues, or take advantage of the water faucet located on the backside of the French Market in New Orleans Square to refill cups or water bottles. Prioritizing fashion over function. Many visitors travel to Disneyland in search of the ideal photo shoots. Prioritizing fashion over function is one of the biggest signs that your day might go south, even if these can be some of the best and most affordable souvenirs. You should wear durable walking shoes with strong arch support because, on average, guests report walking up to 10 kilometers every day. Instead of buying brand new shoes for the vacation, make sure they're well-worn to prevent blisters. Consider carrying an extra pair of flip-flops that you can quickly change into if you enjoy water rides, so you won't have to wander around in drenched socks. Driving from your hotel to Disneyland. Many people drive themselves to the park to save money, but many are dismayed to learn that parking in the official Disneyland park garage costs $20 per day. In addition to the cost, getting to the park entrance by tram or parking takes a while. In a good neighbor hotel, you can frequently take a shuttle for free or at low cost. Uber is a fantastic choice. If you're staying close to Disneyland, a one-way ride will cost you around $5, and drivers can get you there faster than some hotel shuttles can. Was this information helpful? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.